In this episode, I'm going to be looking at some pictograms, which I believe are illustrations of alternating current coils. The pictograms in question are commonly referred to as Jed pillars. They're associated with Osiris. The word Osiris means powerful. The first illustration I want to look at is this one. I believe this is a three-coil wireless power transfer array. How it works. When the primary coil is connected to a power source, it generates an alternating magnetic field. The secondary coil captures the field and begins to resonate in harmony with the primary coil. This enhances the magnetic field and facilitates an efficient power transfer. The tertiary coil captures the enhanced field and transfers it to any device that's either brought within its field or has a receiving mechanism. And this process can be achieved with a single coil, but a three-coil system improves several key characteristics compared to a single or two-coil system. Here are the main characteristics that are enhanced. Efficiency. Resonant coupling. The secondary coil enables resonant coupling between the primary and tertiary coils, which significantly increases the efficiency of power transfer reduced energy losses. By optimizing the transfer of energy through resonant frequencies, the system minimizes energy losses during the transfer process. Range. Extended distance in the secondary coil enhances the magnetic field, allowing effective power transfer over greater distances than a single coil system can achieve. Alignment flexibility. The three coil system provides more flexibility in the positioning and alignment of the receiving devices. Stability. Consistent performance. The secondary coil helps maintain stable and consistent power transfer, even with changes in the environment. Reduced sensitivity. And the system is less sensitive to variations in distance and alignment, ensuring reliable operation. Power handling, higher power levels. A three-coil system can handle higher power levels more efficiently, making it suitable for applications that require significant power transfer. Lower heat generation. By improving efficiency, the system generates less heat, which can enhance the safety and longevity of the components involved. So to summarize, the three-coil system improves efficiency, range, stability, power handling, and safety, making it a more robust and reliable solution for wireless power transfer compared to simpler, single-coil systems. You might wonder why they would use a three-coil system and not a four-coil system, and the answer is that more is not always better. While a four-coil system can offer advantages in specific scenarios, the three-coil system is well-suited for a wide range of applications, providing reliable and efficient wireless power transfer without unnecessary complexity. The three-coil system can achieve high efficiency through resonant coupling between the primary, secondary, and tertiary coils without the need for a fourth coil. By minimizing the number of coils, the system can reduce energy losses associated with additional coupling stages. Um, the next scene I want to show you is this one. In this pictogram, we see in the center what I believe is a three-coil wireless transfer array. The coils are flanked by a couple who are performing an identical wave toward each other. I think this should be interpreted as electromagnetic wave coupling. When an AC current flows through a coil, it creates a time-varying magnetic field around the coil. This changing magnetic field induces an electric field, resulting in the generation of electromagnetic waves. But this phenomenon is the basis for many wireless communication technologies and power transmission systems. Electromagnetic wave coupling is essentially how energy is transferred between electromagnetic waves and various systems or components. For example, in communications, electromagnetic coupling 
is fundamental in antennas, where it helps transmit and receive signals over distances, especially inductive charging. Inductive charging is a method of powering devices without the need for physical cables. The electromagnetic field induces a current in the receiver device through electromagnetic wave coupling. This brings us to the end of the episode about coils. I have more videos coming in the future. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing. Thank you and goodbye.